Here is a quick review of the feed preview feature because it really is an exciting feature update. Here are the highlights. The purpose is to provide the user a live preview of the feed data without having to click compile and wait for the output of a feed file and validation summary. Because we all know this process can take some time for most stores. With preview, you can view the first 100 SKUs or you can search for any SKU in the catalog. You can click this button here to expand and get an even better view of the display table and SKU info. When you click into a SKU, you are viewing every process that is applied to this SKU. This is awesome. In the expanded view here, you can also see the before values, which are the original import values and the after values, which have been transformed. So for troubleshooting, you can review example SKUs a customer provides you to see where any mistakes or hiccups are occurring along the data transformation process. Also, it will show products that are excluded in the feed, and you will be able to see at what stage of the process they are being excluded. For example, this product is excluded because of an error in the validation, and when you click into the validation line and view all the validation messages for this SKU, you'll see the error excluding the SKU from the feed so you have the information you need to resolve. If you make any changes while preview is open, you will need to click the blue search button to refresh and view changes you've just made or you can toggle preview off and then toggle it back on to refresh as well. We'll go over this feature more throughout the next coming weeks because having the visibility into the data transformation process at the SKU level within app is a huge update.